what's up everybody this is tech g back with another video and in this video i'm going to be explaining to you exactly what a voip engineer is in case you want to pursue this as your profession so let's get into it in the age of digital communication, voice over internet protocol technology has become the backbone of many businesses' communication systems. And as companies migrate from traditional telephony to VoIP systems, there is an increasing demand for skilled professionals who can design, implement, manage, and troubleshoot these networks. And this brings us to the VoIP engineer, which is an essential role in modern IT and telecommunications infrastructures. So in this video, we're going to explore what a VoIP engineer is, the responsibilities they hold the key skills required for this role and the significance of VoIP technology in today's business landscape. So whether you're an aspiring IT professional looking to enter the VoIP field or a business leader curious about VoIP engineering, this video will provide valuable insights. All right, so before we dive into the role of a VoIP engineer, it is essential to understand the fundamentals of VoIP technology. So voice over internet protocol technology, this is a method of transmitting voice and multimedia content over the internet rather than through traditional public switch telephone networks or PSTN. And this technology converts analog voice signals into digital data packets that travel over the internet or private data networks. In VoIP services, they offer numerous advantages such as cost savings, scalability, and the ability to integrate with various communication platforms. And with the growth of cloud-based services, remote work, and global collaboration, VoIP has become an indispensable tool for businesses, making the need for VoIP engineers more critical than ever. All right, so let's go ahead and get into exactly what a VoIP engineer is. So a VoIP engineer, this is an IT professional responsible for the design, implementation, configuration, and ongoing maintenance of VoIP systems. They ensure that voice data is transmitted efficiently and reliably over a company's network and troubleshoot issues related to VoIP services. VoIP engineers, they work with a range of technologies and platforms, including network hardware, software, and cloud-based VoIP solutions, and they play a critical role in creating a seamless communication experience for businesses by ensuring high quality voice transmission, minimizing latency, and maintaining system uptime. Now, given the complexity of VoIP systems, VoIP engineers must have a deep understanding of both networking and telecommunications. And their responsibilities go beyond just voice communication. They often integrate VoIP and other communication tools, such as video conferencing systems, messaging platforms, and collaboration software. All right, so let's talk about how much money a VoIP engineer makes. So the average annual salary for a VoIP engineer in the U.S. this varies based on factors such as experience, location, and specific job responsibilities. And according to salary.com, the average salary is $118,000 with a typical range between $107,000 and $131,000. Glassdoor reports an average base salary of $90,000 with an estimated total compensation around $107,000 dollars per year and indeed list the average salary at about $91,000 and these variations underscore the importance of considering individual qualifications and regional factors when evaluating salary expectations. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the responsibilities of a VoIP engineer. So the role of a VoIP engineer, this involves a combination of technical expertise, network management, and troubleshooting capabilities. And so we're going to talk about the key responsibilities real quick. So the first one is that of designing VoIP systems. So one of the primary duties of a VoIP engineer is designing robust VoIP systems that meet a company's communication needs. And this involves understanding the existing network infrastructure, assessing communication requirements, and selecting the appropriate VoIP technologies. So within that VoIP engineers, they evaluate the organization's network to determine whether it can support VoIP traffic. And this includes bandwidth analysis, latency measurement, and ensuring the quality of service mechanisms are in place. VoIP engineers, they design systems that integrate with existing IT infrastructure, such as routers, switches, firewalls, and servers, while ensuring security and scalability. And depending on the company's needs, a VoIP engineer may choose between hosted, on-premises, or hybrid VoIP systems. And they might also select specific platforms like Cisco Unified Communication Manager, Avea, or an open source solution like Asterix. 
Another responsibility is that of VoIP installation and configuration. So after designing the VoIP system, the VoIP engineer is responsible for installing and configuring all components of the system. And this includes setting up physical equipment, such as VoIP phones, gateways, routers, and switches. The engineers, they must configure VoIP software, ensuring that it is properly integrated with the network and other systems. And they set up call routing, auto attendance, voicemails, and other telephony features. And also a VoIP engineer, they are responsible for configuring security settings, including encryption, firewall, and authentication protocols to protect the system from cyber threats like eavesdropping or denial of service attacks. Then there's system maintenance. So once a VoIP system is up and running, ongoing maintenance is required to ensure the system remains operationally efficient and secure. And VoIP engineers, they regularly monitor system performance to ensure the quality of service remains high and latency, jitter, or packet loss are minimized. Also engineers, they are responsible for applying software updates and security patches to VoIP systems to prevent vulnerabilities and ensure compatibility with new features. And VoIP engineers, they must implement backup and design disaster recovery plans to ensure that communication services are quickly restored in the event of an outage or system failure. And then that leads us to troubleshooting and support. So inevitably, issues will arise within VoIP systems that require swift troubleshooting and resolution. And VoIP engineers, they need to possess strong analytical skills to diagnose and fix problems effectively. So whether it's poor call quality, drop calls, or system outages, a VoIP engineer must diagnose the root cause, whether it's network congestion, misconfiguration, or hardware failures. And also VoIP engineers, they often work with IT support teams to resolve user issues and provide technical support for system administrators and end users. And they may also collaborate with vendors to troubleshoot proprietary VoIP hardware or software. Another responsibility is that of integrating with other systems. So VoIP is often integrated with various unified communication platforms that include messaging, video conferencing, and collaboration tools. And VoIP engineers, they play a key role in ensuring seamless integration. So engineers, they may integrate VoIP systems with collaboration platforms like Microsoft Teams, Zoom, or Slack to create unified communication systems. And many companies, they integrate VoIP systems with customer relationship management tools like Salesforce to log calls and enhance customer support. And then we have VoIP security. So VoIP systems, like any other interconnected system, they are vulnerable to cyber threats. So VoIP engineers must take proactive steps to secure the network. So VoIP engineers, they ensure that voice communications are encrypted using protocols like transport layer security and secure real-time transport protocol. Engineers, they configure firewalls, session border controllers, and intrusion detection systems to protect against unauthorized access, BOS attacks, and malware. And they also implement strong authentication mechanisms such as multi-factor authentication to prevent unauthorized users from accessing the VoIP system. All right, so moving on, let's talk about the skills that are required to become a VoIP engineer. So becoming a successful VoIP engineer, this requires a blend of technical, analytical, and communication skills. And I'm going to go over some of the skills that you're going to need to excel in this role. So the first one is that of networking expertise. So since VoIP systems rely heavily on network infrastructure, a deep understanding of networking is essential. And VoIP engineers, they must be proficient in IP networking. So they need to have a knowledge of IP addressing, subnetting, and routing as VoIP communications are transmitted over IP networks. VoIP engineers, they must understand various protocols like TCP IP, UDP, session initiation protocol, real-time transport protocol, and H.323, which are essential for VoIP communications. And then they need to know something about QoS. So quality of service, this ensures that voice traffic is prioritized over other types of data to maintain call quality. And VoIP engineers, they must know how to configure QoS on network devices. And then we have VoIP platforms and protocols. So VoIP engineers, they need to be familiar with the specific platforms and protocols that are used in VoIP systems. So proficiency in platforms such as Cisco Unified Communication Manager, 3CX, or Asterisk is essential. And then you have various VoIP protocols like SIP, RTP, H.323. These are fundamental protocols that facilitate VoIP calls. So engineers, they must understand how to configure and troubleshoot these protocols. 
Another skill set is that of system administration. So VoIP engineers, they often work with both Linux and Windows operating systems to manage and configure VoIP servers and software. So they should have experience in server management by installing and configuring VoIP servers, managing user accounts, and ensuring high availability. And also some VoIP systems, they use databases to store call logs, user data, and configuration. So engineers, they should be comfortable with working with database systems like MySQL or PostGRE SQL. Then their security expertise. So given the vulnerabilities that are associated with VoIP systems, strong security skills are necessary. So engineers, they should be familiar with encryption standards like TLS and SRTP for securing voice data. And they need to understand how to configure firewalls and session border controllers to protect the network perimeter. Another skill set is that of troubleshooting and problem solving skills. So VoIP engineers, they need strong analytical skills to diagnose and resolve issues with the VoIP systems. They need some familiarity with Wireshark, Ping, and Traceroute because this is necessary for identifying network related issues that affect VoIP performance. And they need to have the ability to think critically and solve complex technical problems because this is key to maintaining system uptime. And then we have communication and collaboration. So VoIP engineers, they often work in cross functional teams that need strong communication skills. So engineers must work closely with network admins, security teams, and system administrators to implement VoIP systems. And also VoIP engineers, they may need to communicate with vendors to resolve issues that are related to proprietary hardware or software. All right, so let's move on and talk about career path and certifications for VoIP engineers. So VoIP engineering, this is a specialized career that often requires formal education and certifications. And here are some steps you can take to pursue a career in VoIP engineering. So let's talk about the educational background. So most VoIP engineers, they hold a bachelor's degree in computer science, information technology, telecommunications, or some other related field. And some may also have an associate degree combined with hands-on experience in network administration or telecommunications communications. Next is certifications. So certifications, they can boost the VoIP engineers qualifications and demonstrate expertise in networking and VoIP technologies. And some of the most recognized certifications include the following. So you have the CCNA collaboration or voice, and this focuses on VoIP systems and Cisco communication technologies. You have the ACSS, and this is designed for professionals working with Avaya communication systems. You have the Microsoft 365 certified teams voice engineer, and this is a certification for professionals managing VoIP and collaboration tools in Microsoft Teams. You have the 3CX Certified Engineer. This covers the 3CX VoIP platform and its implementation. And then we have CompTIA Network Plus and Security Plus. So while these certifications are more general, they do provide a solid foundation in networking and security, both of which are crucial for VoIP engineers. And then we have entry-level positions. So many VoIP engineers, they begin their careers in related IT or network administration roles in entry-level positions, such as network support technicians, telecommunication technicians, or IT support specialists. They do provide valuable experience in managing network and voice communication systems. All right, so let's move on and talk about the timeline to become a VoIP engineer. So becoming a VoIP engineer, this typically takes anywhere between two to six years, depending on your background, education, and experience level. So if you're going to go the entry-level path, this could take you about two to four years. And so when it comes to education, you might need a bachelor's degree in IT, computer science, or related field, although this is optional, but it may be preferred. Then there's certifications, so you can earn your CompTIA Network Plus, your CCNA, or your Microsoft Teams voice engineer. These can help fast track your career. You can gain some experience. So you can gain one to two years of networking and IT support experience because this will help develop foundational skills in VoIP, networking, and troubleshooting. Then we have the advanced path, and this could take you anywhere between four to six years. So there's specialization. So you can get experience in unified communications, PBX systems, SIP trunking, QoS, and VoIP security. Then there's advanced credentials like CCMP collaboration, Microsoft Teams voice engineer, or asterisk certifications that can boost your expertise. Then there's hands-on experience. So three to five years of networking and VoIP administration, this can lead to senior roles. But many VoIP engineers, they start out as help desk technicians, network administrators, or system engineers before they transition into a VoIP specific role. And this timeline depends on the individual's learning pace, hands-on exposure, and professional networking efforts. 
All right, so to wrap all this up, a VoIP engineer, they play a pivotal role in modern business communications, responsible for designing, implementing, and maintaining VoIP systems that keep companies connected. With the growing reliance on VoIP technology for voice and multimedia communications, the demand for skilled VoIP engineers is on the rise. And VoIP engineers, they need a diverse skill set combining expertise in networking, VoIP platforms, system administration, and security. And with the right education, certifications, and hands-on experience, individuals, they can excel in this dynamic and rewarding field. So as businesses continue to adopt and expand their VoIP systems, the role of the VoIP engineer will remain vital, ensuring seamless, high quality and secure communication across the organization.